Yes? Patty, this is Army Archard. I have nothing to say. Wasn't John Ross largely responsible for shaping your career? John Ross, what... What about John Ross? He died in Palm Springs yesterday, I assumed you knew. Ross was like a second father to you, wasn't he? I... I can't talk about it. Desi, Desi, when I said I loved you, I meant it. Yeah, I know, but this is complicated. Okay? No, 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 not if we keep it between you and me. No, but how are we going to do that? We can't do that. This is family. There could be legal complications for you. Tell me. Yeah, well, you know, what if they're right, okay, about the difference in our ages? I just think that it's important for me to go to Hawaii with my family now. Hmm. Aloha. If you can have one great car in your life, this is it. The completely new 1991 Buick Park Avenue Ultra. To ride in it is to glory in the details. For example, driver and front passenger are now able to select separate temperatures. The available speaker system is so good, it is aptly called concert sound. There are over 1,400 refinements in this American beauty. Come see it and start counting. From Buick, the new symbol for quality in America and beyond. A lot of women play tug of war <gasps> with their pantyhose. <laughs> Introducing a more fitting solution, New Legs Classics. Pantyhose that keep every place comfortably in place. Forget tug of war, <gasps> get New Legs Classics. They're fit to be a classic. She's got legs. Classics. Don't hurt your hair. Moisturize with Alberto. Don't victimize. Moisturize. Don't agonize. Moisturize. Moisturize with Alberto Moves for hold with softness and try our gel spritz and spray. I love my boyfriend, but I go out with Alberto. From Touchstone Pictures, America's three favorite bachelors, oh. Tom Selleck, Steve Gutenberg, and Ted Danson are back. How come none of you are married? Oh, uh... In Three Men and a Little Lady. Isn't that fun? Rated PG. Starts Wednesday, November 21st. Did I hear you right? Introducing Lewis Rich Turkey Bacon. Turkey Bacon? Tastes too good to be, but it's not. I don't believe it. Looks too good to be, you know what? Lewis Rich Turkey Bacon, 100% delicious, 80% fat free. Get out of here. Smells too good to be, but it's true. Tastes too good to be, good for you. You're not serious. Lewis Rich Turkey Bacon. You are serious. Tastes too good to be 80% fat free. Tastes too good. Linda Evans returns to television in a celebration of romance. I don't believe in romance. She was the last woman you'd expect to be looking for a date with the most romantic man in town. I am a serious, practical person, and no silly little contest is going to change me. Until she finds the one man who can really sweep her off her feet. Linda Evans, Tom Skerritt, two weeks from tonight. What'd I get? I'll take romance. This is a dime, man. You gotta die young. You die young, you become an instant hero, right? I mean, ends all the possibilities of making any mistakes, spoiling an image. Huh? What about JFK? Like, take JFK if they wouldn't shot him down in Dallas. What happens if he would have lived? 
Maybe people, maybe people wouldn't put him up on such a, a big pedestal. Maybe he would have been ended up being hated just as much as Elvin J. Adam, right? <laughs> Death, where is thy sting? Mr. Ashton. John. You might write me off as weird, but I've been watching you. Weird concern. Do you have an obsessive fear of death? Why? Yes. Me too. Kindred spirits. A lot of people won't admit that. A lot of people don't approach the topic so openly. There's one thing. I wrote John Ross a letter a couple months ago, and I never mailed it. No, it's too late. Regrets. And then my mother is coming to the Emmys next month. You should win. I'm glad she's going to be with me, but why does life get so complicated? Why, why? Why, indeed. My wife and I have been separated for months, but taking that next step, divorce. You know, three young kids. Complicated. Oh, it can't be 9 o'clock. I've got a meeting at 10. I'm working on a movie in San Diego. Maybe you could come down. I'd like that. Thank you. Mom. Mom, please don't cry, Mom. Would you just tell me what is the matter? Are you sick? Are you mad at me? What is it? The dress. You liked it in the store. Mom, you look wonderful. Mom, Mom, don't take the dress off, Mom. The limo's gonna be here any minute. Will you, you go without me? You flew here to go to the Emmys with me. You look so nice. I don't want to disgrace you. Do you want my dress? Will you go if I give you my dress? It really doesn't matter whether I go or not. It matters. It matters. Put it on. Hi. Who the hell are you and what do you want? Uh, I'm Glenn Bell. I uh, understood that you wanted to sublet this apartment for the summer. Your timing, Glenn Bell, is lousy. I'm sorry. What the hell? Come on in. Look around. Just don't ask any questions. OK, you look happy. Now let's see what I can throw together. Something old, something new. Something borrowed and something red. Uh. <clears throat> Hello? Miss Duke's limo's here. Uh, oh, sure, yeah. Uh, I'll tell her. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Ah, uh, Miss Duke, your uh, limo is here. Ma, this is. Uh, Glenn Bell, hi. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll take the apartment. Work it out with my business manager. Oh, great. Hey, good luck. I know you're going to win. Mm -hmm. I have to thank everybody who's here, especially my mother. That's the old routine, isn't it? Mother, father. Well, my father's dead, so he's not here. Or is he? On the chance that he is, thank you, Dad. Other people are dead and not here, like John Ross. 
Thank you, John Ross, wherever you are. He used to say, acting depends on enthusiasm. You know, enthusiasm comes from the Greek, the God within. I'll sign off with a message for special friends. Why are you all Isn't staring at me? Stage oh, I smell disapproval. Somebody here Frank didn't like my acceptance speech. Okay, I don't accept it. You're not accepting the award? It's meaningless. Acting is meaningless. Television is meaningless. My life is meaningless. I'm gonna start a whole new life. Well, what will you be doing? I'm gonna be a doctor. Maybe a psychiatrist. feeling very well. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have tried to do this, okay? I'm asking to be let out of my contract. Act of God. I need a place to live. <laughs> well, I, you know, my house is your house. Um, the, the cribs are in the closet. Hello? Hello? Desi? You promised not to call anymore. If you would just come and see me. We have all tried to help you. What more can we do? Desi, I love you. I need you. It's over, Patty. Can I get you anything? A husband. Well, um, I was thinking more of like a burger and fries, you know. Don't even say it. As you may have begun to suspect, I am pregnant. Good Catholic girl, well, Catholic. Pregnant, unmarried, no father, no shotgun, no prospects. Do you want to get married? Are you saying me and you? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. I'll marry you. Are you serious? Mm. 
Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, we'll go to Vegas. Uh, we, uh, I, uh, my friends there, they'll set it up. Cool. <laughs> I thought we'd have a few people in. No. Instead of having people in, why don't you go out and stay out and take all of this with you? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> I'll be ridiculous. Or bizarre. Or capricious. Or anything I damn well please. Get out! This is crazy. What are you doing? Our oh. is crazy. Our Okay, Sal, I want onions and you don't. But we can solve this. We'll arm wrestle for it. Okay, Daddy. Uh, yes! Onions it is! <laughs> onions, onions, Daddy. onions it is! 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 Little Caesar's new family choice gives you one medium pizza with eight toppings for the adults and one with two toppings for the kids, all for $8.99. Pizza, pizza. pizza. Ever try shopping with a four-year-old? I can't be looking for where the stuff is made. Yeah, right. Like one imported towel is going to cost someone their job. Look, I'm on my lunch hour. Uh, next time, I'll check where it's made. Since 1980, nearly half a million Americans who make apparel and home fashions have lost their jobs, even though the quality of our products is second to none, which makes you wonder if it's foreign competition that's hurting us. So the shirt's imported. Who's it going to hurt? Or if it's us that's hurting us. Buy American and Americans work. package discounts, low financing rates, leasing programs. Come see them now at Chevrolet, Pontiac, Oldsmobile, Buick, Cadillac, and GMC truck dealers. During the GM offer of quality, a new kind of quality, at a new level of value. Becky flips the bird in Roseanne's call to the principal's office. Finger? We're all fingers over here. Roseanne, then... Mr. Christine. Bye-bye, Christine. Hello, trouble. Well, Elaine, your drink was cold, honey. <laughs> Coach, Tuesday. Wednesday, Bob is back with Mel. Do you believe in birth control? No. Shirley. Is there anything more important than a family? And Delta. The unhappier I got, the bigger I got. Don't miss the all-new Barbara Walters special Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Anna. We'll continue in a moment. She's retarded in an institution and pregnant. Her guardian wants to know who raped my sister. One woman's fight for the truth in what she calls a cover-up. Prime time, Thursday. Sir, I want you to stand right here for me, okay? okay. You can go ahead and get your hands out of your pocket. Go ahead and stand face me. Put your heels and toes together. All the way together. All the way together. You see my pen right here in front of your eyes? Yeah. I want you to follow my pen, okay, with your eyes only. Okay, sir. Go ahead, uh, turn around. You have anything in, in uh, a gun? No. Go ahead, turn around. Give me hands to the back. Okay, you're on the race for DWI, sir, okay? We're going to go downtown for intoxilizer test, okay? 
This is a Nine News update. Good evening, I'm Ward Lucas. I'm Rosemary Collins. A Littleton man is dead after a fire in his home. 43-year-old Wayne Schneider's body was found near his front door. Investigators don't know yet what caused the fire. Also this evening, the town of Walden celebrates. Today, they cut down a 74-foot spruce tree that's going to be the national Christmas tree in Washington, D.C. It's the first time Colorado's been selected for the honor. Tonight, Paula Woodward and Ward Lucas investigate Colorado's workers' comp mess. This man has collected over a quarter of a million dollars for serious injuries, and yet he can still jet ski. Workers' Con, a 9 News Extra, tonight on 9 News at 10. Join us at 10. We return to Call Me Anna. Shouldn't be late my first day on the picture. He's unreliable. I hate to leave him though. Not that I don't trust you. Now remember, if anything goes wrong, if you need me, Universal Studios 2 on a bench set. Mama's gotta go to work to earn money to buy you Pablum. You be a good boy. I'll be home as soon as I can. Love you. Did you suggest me for this? I thought you suggested me. Fate. How's Sean? Best baby in the world. I like the name Sean. John in Gaelic. I named him after my father. First team, places please. May I? I hate it alone. Well, that must not be much of a problem with three kids. I've moved out. For good. Your last husband? <laughs> the marriage has been annulled. Hmm. Mr. Bell has disappeared into the never-never land from whence he came. I missed you. I've missed you, too. What do you see? I see a lovely woman, but not a patty. I was Anna Marie, Duke. <laughs> then one day, Ethel said, okay, Anna Marie is dead, now you're Patty. Just like that. Anna Marie is dead. I'm gonna suit you. I have this feeling. I think this is my son. I think so, too. Why didn't you tell me he was my son before? You were married, three children, great headlines. Have I mentioned? I love you. I love you. Don't 
Thanks, big guy. The best thing is for you guys to get to bed, okay? Mom's okay, don't worry. Good boys. I'm not going. I feel sick. That's why you need a doctor, huh? That doctor can't help me. Give him a chance, Anna. He'll want to put me in the hospital. I'm not going. You just want to get rid of me. I don't blame you. I'd like to get rid of me. Come on. I'll help you get dressed. Am I making you nervous? No. You want me to stand still? Lie down? Sit up and beg? Tell me what you want me to do. What would you like to do? Get the hell out of here. Why did you come to see me? His idea. He thinks I'm crazy. Did I say that? No. Never. I'm overreactive, emotionally unpredictable, prone to inappropriate behavior. Strip away the double talk, crazy. Do you think you're crazy? Uh, let me see. Now, if I... Deny that I'm crazy. That proves I am. If I say, yes, I'm crazy, there, she admits it. Welcome to the wonderful world of the double bind. You're a psychiatrist. You expect me to be crazy. Okay. I'll be crazy. You always do what other people expect? Always. You just tell me what you want me to be, you got it. You mean when you're working? <sighs> Doctor. I act far more off screen than on. For years now, I've been pretending to be someone known as Patty Duke. Nobody does it better. What about Anna Duke Aston? Oh, her, sure. John's sweet, simpering little girl. Docile, dutiful, doting. Sounds more like a daughter. So he can be daddy. Big daddy. Oh, look at him now, sitting there so patient. Patronizing. Doesn't that work both ways? Maybe you wrote this role for John and he doesn't want to play it. Well, then why don't you take over, Doc? You'd be perfect. Compassionate, paternal, platitudinous. <laughs> Are you always so analytically alliterative? I don't need either of you. I had a... I loved my... Father. Anna Marie Duke is dead. Anna. I'm tired. I want to go to sleep for a long time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for whatever I said, whatever I did. Will you come back to see me after you're rested? And what? You'll make a miracle? No. No, no, no. I don't promise anything. But I would like you to come back. Sure. Why not? Just tell me what you want. Amiable Anna, you just tell me what you want, and you got it. If I make everybody else happy, maybe I'll be happy too. I tried that. There must be another way. Egg. E G G. Egg. It has a name. <gasps> Helen, the chick has to come out of the shell sometime. You come out. Cat. Friend. People admire their strength and their courage. Why can't I be like that? You're not Helen Keller or Annie Sullivan. 
The problems you're facing call for a different kind of strength, a different kind of courage. Oh, in my whole life, I've never done anything right. Anna, that's not true. <gasps> On stage? In front of a camera? Sure. Otherwise, I foul up. As a daughter, a wife, a mother, I know the right thing to do. I want that so much. Well, maybe you resent being expected to do the right thing. No, I want that. I'm going for it. And then, it's like John says, I'm out of control. What do you feel is in control? Hey, maybe I'm possessed. That would explain everything. Can you refer me to a good exorcist? I'm not ready to give up. Well, I think everybody else has. John? Can you blame him? This is a very nerve-wracking moment. And the winner is... Patty Duke Aspen as Anna Sullivan. Patty Duke Aspen has chosen not to be with us tonight. But the Academy wishes to offer its congratulations. Patty Duke Aspen has chosen not to be with you tonight because the screen actors are on strike and we're not crossing the picket line. Will you ever get your Emmy, Hi. Mom? Hello? Maybe they'll hold it hostage till they settle the strike. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Mom, it's Aunt Carol. Mm. That's her. Hello? Hello? Hi, Carol. Aw, oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, it's weird. I'm just sitting here at home. Is Mom with you? We, we had to put Mom in her home, Anna. Oh. When did she go there? I see. Well, why don't you give me the number and uh, I'll give her a call. Go ahead. Okay. Got it. Everybody else okay? Good. No, we're fine. Fine. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. She's not saying Mom's in a bad way. What are you going to do about it? She's so severely depressed. What can you do about it? I can't leave my mother back there in that psychiatric hospital. For once in my life, I want to do what's right. When I was maybe six years old, I remember her squeezing my hand and saying, don't let them lock me up. Well, you'd just be putting her in another hospital out here. Why not talk to Arlen about it? She's my mother. I'll decide what's right. Why have you been canceling your appointments? You haven't been to see the doctor in weeks. I don't need to go and see him. I'm sure you give him detailed reports on all my misbehavior. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Uh-uh. Hurry, hurry, hurry! And stay out! I want you to come home with me. From now on, I'm going to take care of you. It's OK, Mom. It's going to be OK. Welcome back. I'm not staying, but there's somebody I want you to meet. Mom, this is Dr. Arlen. Mrs. Duke, I'm happy to meet you. Will you see if you can help her? Of course. 
I'm flattered you trust me with your mother's welfare, if not your own. I'll pick you up in about an hour, Ma. I'm ready to serve. Will you see that the boys are at the table? Uh, Sean's not back from the solvents yet. I said we'd eat it, too. He'll be here soon. You know kids at Christmas. We don't eat it, too. We do not eat at all. Anna, please, not today. Today's the day and every other day. I'm sick of it. Damn it. damn crazy thing you want to do. Go ahead, pull down the tree. Destroy it. What's a Christmas tree compared to what else you've destroyed? I, I love you, but I can't live like this. We can't take it anymore. Then don't. Come on, kids, let's, let's get some food. Come on, come on, let's go. a conversation with the older phone company or the phone company that's changed everything sprint has all the basic services at&t has but sprint has a hundred percent fiber optic sound quality and better overall savings i can give you instinct you might not save a fortune but you might as well have it i mean wouldn't you rather have the money than at&t Winter. Bag it? McDonald's? Hey, McRib. Now you're talking. Fries? And a Coke? Tell me more. A McRib pack. We'll take four. Better hurry, huh? Mmm, -hmm. McRib. McDonald's! For food, folks, and fun, shop. It is estimated that over 20 million people will battle nighttime colds this year. It's time for maximum strength. Countless hours of rest will be lost. Lives disrupted. It's time for maximum strength. Benadryl Plus Nighttime Cold Formula. Because even NyQuil doesn't give you all maximum strength ingredients. Relieve your congestion, aches, fever, and sneezing. Get Benadryl Plus Nighttime. Get maximum strength ingredients for the nighttime cold war. The 1991 Buick Regal Sedan. It's going places. Regal features four-wheel disc brakes and an available 3800 V6 engine. Leather seating areas, concert sound, and anti-lock brakes are also available. 
Regal is going places in comfort with the spaciousness and view equality that gives its competitors fits. The new world-class four-door Regal from Buick. The new symbol for quality in America and beyond. Tuesday. Hope is perfect. But it's not easy to be a perfect mother and homemaker. You said this would be easy. And some days, oh, no. nothing ever goes right. This is a very difficult day. 30-something, Tuesday. Do you have a loved one in the Persian Gulf? During Thanksgiving week, spend some time with the troops when we broadcast live from Saudi Arabia right here on Good Morning America. see Dr. Arlen, she says. Can you believe it? Yes, I can. Your mother's doing very well. Well, I'm not. I haven't slept for three nights. I can't eat. I scream at the kids. I hit them. This is since John's been gone? No, it started before. Any physical problems? No. I lost my voice. Nodes on my vocal cords. But I got a shot of cortisone so I could keep working. Then there was the big Christmas blow-up. You had cortisone? Yeah, I did, did the job. And these symptoms followed. Anna, your reaction to cortisone could be the final piece of evidence I needed to understand your illness. Understand my illness? Mm-hmm. I was 90% sure, but it's a delicate thing to pinpoint, and I didn't want to risk an inaccurate diagnosis. I think... Yes, I think you could be manic depressive. I certainly act manic. And I get depressed just like Mom used to. When you're manic, you're euphoric, you don't need help, you can't sleep, you can't eat, and from those highs... You dive to a deep, deep, deep depression. It's genetic. Different agents can trigger it. Cortisone was one of them. Emotional shocks can set it off, too, like a loss, a death. Being separated from your parents. Feeling abandoned. You're looking at a textbook case. Mm -hmm. Just about. So? A manic depressive. Now, what do we do about it? Well, there's a very specific treatment. Lithium. It's very effective in most cases, and... and you probably will have to take it twice a day. We'll monitor your blood to adjust the dosage so that we can have a safe therapeutic level. Lithium? Mm -hmm. It's a, um, metallic element. You won't feel drugged or zoned out. It restores the balance of highs and lows. I just take pills? Anna, I'm not offering you a panacea. Lithium isn't going to make all your problems disappear. But if you use it properly and continue with therapy, it could put you in control of your life. And that's what counts. When I was a kid, you know, with the Rosses. I used to get so scared sometimes. Panicky. I'd pray for somebody to give me a pill to make it stop. I don't think they gave me pills, all right. 
That's the wrong kind. This is the right kind. We're going to stop this panic, Anna. And maybe for the first time in your life, you'll be able to get down to work. Come in. Hello? Hi, Robert. Come on in. Daniel, I'll see you in a few minutes. The uniform suits you. <laughs> One of life's little ironies. The whole-time pacifist plays a soldier. All right, Robert. What's this all about? Must see you as soon as possible. Can't explain on the phone. The last couple of years, you've been doing some really good work for the Guild. Eh, you suckered me into it. <laughs> I like it. Last night, some of us got together to toss around some possibilities to succeed Ed. Your name came up. We want you to run. Me? Run for the presidency of the Screen Actors Guild? You know, the nominating committee will back you up. I want that nomination. Yeah. <laughs> There's, there's something I have to tell you. I've been diagnosed as manic depressive. It's a serious mental illness. For three years, I've been taking lithium. It's been wonderful. No more crazy highs, no more suicidal lows. It's given me a life. I know I could do a good job for the Guild, but I want your people to know the truth. They may well decide I'm not a good risk. Appreciate your leveling. Yeah. Chairman, members of the committee, thank you for allowing me to address you in the Senate today on behalf of the National Alliance for the Mentally Ill. We bring 400,000 signatures in support of appropriations to the National Institute of Mental Health for continued research into schizophrenic and depressive disorders. If not for research, which made possible a medication known as lithium, I would not be here today. I would probably not be anywhere today. <laughs> as a manic depressive, I was increasingly out of control and a constant source of pain to my family, friends, and fellow workers. Due to proper diagnosis and treatment by a fine psychiatrist, I come before you today a productive citizen, a healthy daughter, wife, and mother, and as a voice for 40 million Americans who will suffer from a mental illness this year. Mr. Chairman, not so long ago, my family and I would have said that this moment was impossible. Today, we know that anything is possible. Thank you.
Good evening, I'm Rosemary Collins. And I'm Ward Lucas. Coming up next on 9 News, some people are trying to beat the system. Now look at problems in Colorado's workers' compensation system. Also from Saddam Hussein today, some hope for an end to the Persian Gulf crisis.